Well, it's unfortunate. Uh, Patrick's a good guy. Why do you think he left? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I look forward to hearing what he has to say. I wish him well, by the way. He's a good guy. He, he's somebody who, who we had uh, invested a lot of time and energy in, 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 in electing him to he's like down the local there, accounts. Look, people make their own decisions. I think he may have seen that the opportunity didn't, didn't, didn't happen for him on this occasion. He did contest, as you know, mm. uh, the Fianna Fáil Selection Convention f for the by-election. Uh, Bobby Aylward, you know, an established uh, politician uh, in the southern end of the county, won through. Uh, Patrick wished him well at the selection convention and said he'd get behind him. Now he's chosen not to do it. Another opportunity is coming. Look, at, opportunities come for people all the time. Um, and they make a judgment and they take it. And, and I wish Patrick well in his decision in that regard. You know, best of luck. Okay. Do you think more will follow him? In, Kilken in Kilkenny? Well, I suppose maybe to in Kilkenny, but also in, you know, from Fianna Fáil to Renewa. Yeah, well, I think it's not an unusual situation when you have maybe five people going for two positions mm. or three going for one. Uh, that their own personal ambitions might outweigh the ambitions of the party uh, and in that instance they'll seek another vehicle or another avenue yeah. um, to reach their, their, what they believe to be their own potential. Fact of life. <laughs> Happens in every walk of life, it's not just confined to politics.